All right, in this video, we're going to learn more about variables. We've been using them to, to store values and using them in calculations. The main focus here is just how to update a variable. Say I had a variable that stored the value 10 and I wanted to increase it by 5. How do I do that? So this idea of accumulation, right? We're adding on to a variable. To do that, we're going to build a simple click counter. I'm going to have a number, and whenever I click, it adds to it or subtracts. Maybe we'll have a couple of buttons and see what happens. Okay, so for this one, um, in the link below, um, or in the description of this video, I'm going to give you a link for a web dev template um, folder. Basically, it's just a really basic HTML, CSS, and JavaScript with all the link and the script and stuff all set up. So they wouldn't have to do that every time. And then if you want to make a new project, just take that template, copy and paste it. I did Control C, Control V, and you can rename it to Click Counter. And now if I were to open this up in Visual Studio Code, we should see that my project folder is, oh, I opened the wrong one. Sorry. Let's try that again. If I were to take my click counter folder, because that's the one, I don't want to change the template, right? I want to leave that as it is and copy and paste it. And I want to change the click counter. Anyway, this should have an index.html, which just has the basic page structure. It links to a style sheet and it loads some JavaScript. Uh, the style sheet just has some basic stuff in it and my main.js just has a little alert all right so if i go here and if i go live with this i should just see that alert so i know my javascript's working and there's my html and css all right and you know what this uh that background's a little dark let's just lighten things up a little bit and go with the gray okay cool now, what do I want to do? Well, let's start with our HTML. I want to do a click counter. So we'll change our title here. I'll copy and paste that here as well. And then let's let's have a, a div with the ID um, count. And inside of this div will be our number. It will start at zero. All right. And then below that div, let's have some buttons. Maybe we'll just put them inside of a paragraph. And let's have a button. We'll just have it as a plus, plus one button. Plus, or actually, let's just go plus one like that. Okay, and that's, that's it for now. We'll save that. And let's get rid of that alert so we don't have to worry about that. And let's style this div a little bit more. Okay. So where am I? Main.js. I just want to get rid of the alert so it doesn't pop up like that. And I'll change the title here to click counter as well. In the styles, let's select our div. And, you know, let's just make it a little bigger font size, like 48 pixels or something like that. And actually, let's do in the body a text align center. And see what that looks like. Sure. Anyway, you could style this all you wanted, but I just want something basic. I just want to be able to see that. Maybe we'll make it a touch bigger. A touch, like 60 pixels. Make it huge. Okay. Um, all right. Now let's get let's make this alive. So in our JavaScript, what do I want to do? Um, first of all, I'm going to create a global variable. Okay. And if you define a variable um, in the main program like this, let count be assigned zero. Um, this variable should be visible inside of all my functions. Okay, and that's going to be my main variable. Starts off at zero. Then I'm going to add my event listeners, or in this case, yeah, event listeners. Oops, I don't need open and close. So I'm going to go document dot get element by ID, and we're looking for that button, which had the ID plus one. And we'll add an event listener to that, that when I click it, I'm going to call a function called plus one. Let's do an event function um, plus one, like so. And now all I need to do here is I want to increase count by one. Increase count by one. So to do that, we just take our count variable and go plus one. 
but this won't actually save the result. It'll take the value of count, which is zero, and add one to it, but I need to save that by going count is assigned count plus one. It's kind of like it's relative, right? Count is going to be what it currently is plus one more. And then I resave it back into count again. All right. After I increase count by one, I should update the page by going, um, hold on, what was that? Was that a div? My count, let's call this count div actually, a little more descriptive. And then so it's not the same variable as this one. Document .get element by ID count div dot inner html is assigned count okay so it should update the variable and then use that new updated variable as the content for that div cool let's see if that works plus one plus one plus one plus one plus one awesome okay um now of course we could do more things let's add another button Hello, button ID equals, let's go plus five. And we'll go plus five like that. And we'll do very similar JavaScript. I'm gonna copy and paste this, but change this to plus five. And we'll create another function called plus five. All right, function plus five and we'll do I'm actually going to copy and paste this I could have done this whole function but and now all we need to do is change this to plus five and then update the count div simple as that save that and now I can go plus one or I can go plus five okay and of course not only can we add to this we can also subtract so maybe I want a button with the ID um, less one or take su subtract one. We'll just go sub one. So take away one like that. Main.js. Copy and paste. Update that to say sub one. And we'll create a function called sub one. Function, whoops, function sub one. And again, I should have just copied and pasted. And you'll notice that here I'm going to go take away one. All right. Um, plus one, take away one. And we can go into the negatives. We're going to add five. Cool. All right. I'll do just one more quickly here. Um, Maybe a, a takeaway. Oh, sorry. Undo, undo. Copy and paste. I'm all over the place here. Okay. Um, let's do keep it symmetrical. We'll do a sub five as well. And then after I get this set up, I want to show you a shorthand notation for this. You don't have to do the shorthand notation, but uh, I do find after a while, like once you get comfortable with this, the shorthand notation is just a little more, I don't know, it's quicker. Sub five, let's copy and paste this. Change that to sub five. And count minus five. Okay, plus one, minus one, take away five, plus five, and we're counting. Okay. So like I said, the shorthand notation is simply, instead of going count, is assigned, uh, let's do the plus one actually first. Instead of count is assigned, my scroll wheel's weird. Count is assigned count plus five. You can actually change this into a count plus equals five, okay? So it's kind of like an, the assignment operator, but you're assigning to be this plus five more, right? Add five onto count. So count plus equals five. For um, count is assigned one, you can do the same thing. You can go plus equals one. But in fact, because adding by one is so common, there's actually a shorter notation called plus plus. Okay, count plus plus will update it by adding one to it. Same with count minus one. 
you could do a minus equals one, but again, it's so common, there's a count minus minus, which will take one away from it. And then to subtract five, you can do a minus equals five. Okay, and let's just save that and make sure it works like we think it should. Plus one still works, plus five still works, take away one still works, take away five still works. Awesome. Okay. Um, couple little things here. I don't have much time left, but I'm going to add another thing here. I'm going to add a new paragraph. And on this paragraph, I want to have a button with the ID reset, which will say reset. And in my main.js, again, we'll do document.getElementById, reset. We'll add an event listener to that. When I click it, I'm going to call a function called reset. All right, and this reset function, let's just scroll down here. Seriously, my scroll wheel is doing weird things. All right, function reset, all I'm gonna do here is count is assigned zero. So this shows us that we initialized my variable to zero, and then after I press these buttons, it changes, right? Plus plus, plus equals. I can also reassign that variable back to zero again, and then I should update the page to show that change, right? So reassign count to zero. So it shouldn't matter what it is, right? I can go all the way up to here. As soon as I hit reset, reset, it makes it back down to zero again. Okay, so like I said, the key thing on this lesson was just this of being able to update variables to so accumulation, right? You can add one, add one, add one, and accumulate a total. Um, that'll come in handy. I want you guys to make a quiz, so this will come in handy for keeping track of a score, right? You get a question right, add one to the variable. Um, last thing I was going to do is, kind of as a bonus, there's something we can do called set interval. So set, uh, it's kind of like a timer to run a function. So it's really simple. It's a built-in JavaScript function called set interval. I'm going to run it here which means that it's just part of the main.js. So it's going to start as soon as the script loads. And basically what I give this set interval function is um, the name of a function to run. So I'm going to say plus one. And then how often in milliseconds, the timeout in milliseconds. So I'm going to go 1,000 milliseconds, which is one second. So basically all this means is I'm creating an interval where it's going to run whatever's inside of plus one every second. So now if I run this program, you'll see that it's doing this timer and running that plus one function every second. I can still hit reset. So it starts it over again. I can still go plus five, but it'll work in on top of this timer. Anyway, that's kind of cool. Um, soon some sometimes take this type of a program and do like some sort of cookie clicker program on this. Um, Anyway, the key though is this idea of variables, <coughs> right? Being able to update them. Remember, actually, let's go to our notes here quickly, sorry. Remember, you can do like my var is assigned my var plus whatever you want. Or you can do a shorthand notation with the plus equals, whatever you want to add, add to it. Or in the case of adding one, oh, sorry, or you can go minus equals. You can actually also do like times equals and divide equals and stuff like that. Um, you can also go plus plus for adding one and minus minus for subtracting one. Okay, um, that's an important skill to have. Hope that made sense and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.